Okay, welcome back to our uh, series uh, that we've put together here as we have rebuilt uh, the first of our Sprite race engines. This one here using uh, the bullet components. Now today, a big thank you to Tom Colby of Speedwell Engineering in San Fernando, California. This is his starter that uh, he developed as a solution to a lot of these things, having all kinds of problems. The original stuff is notorious for chewing up the ring gears, uh, disengaging as the engine tries to start, drives you crazy. Uh, there have been some nice gear drive ones over the years. They are a little iffy to install. Sometimes when you've got one of these aluminum backplates, you gotta sort of have a special nut that you slip in and leave one bolt and nut in place as you install the transmission. It's, it can get a little goofy. This thing, really nicely uh, installed. But what happened is, it, it, uh, my friend purchased it uh, for the race car after we'd already sent the engine off. It was installed and apparently it was improperly shimmed. Now this has an aluminum backplate, so extra attention is required here. It may not be exactly like a standard cast iron setup, but uh, We've gone ahead, shimmed it carefully here, give us some clearance to the pinion. I pushed the button once just to make sure I had it wired, but let's see if we can fire this thing up on this cold March day. Yes, it gets cold in California. You can see the, uh, the snow in the background here. Again, we have set this timing uh, by listening for the click at about 12 degrees. We'll connect our fuel pump back up and our ignition on position. Let's see if we can get this to start without a choke. Yeah, I think we will. Starter sounds good. Thanks again, Tom. about 10 degrees so yeah by now the starter used to just when it ran into compression it would jump out of engagement and the, the, the sprag gear would sort of allow it to spin backwards and ugh. no problems with the starter and this is how the mini starts too when it's cold <laughs> smells good too in here the uh, full race gas. Man. Yeah, see, we're having to sneak up the timing because it's so cold. As this one uh, warms up on our test stand, uh, wrapping up uh, the rebuild of this uh, 1380 race engine for our friend Carlo. Uh, a quick review, this has the MED uh, billet steel crank, uh, the six inch long connecting rods, uh, forged flat top Omega pistons, runs about 13 or 14 to one compression, full race gas. Um, we should explain on the starter real quick. We sent this back to uh, Tom Colby there, Speedwell Engineering. Uh, it was about a year or two ago, as I mentioned uh, earlier. He uh, rebuilt it, got it back to me in about four days. Uh, very good service. Again, this is not an inexpensive starter. This, uh, this thing, you could buy two or three of the uh, common ones. But, uh, you know, there comes a time when you ask yourself, what does a track weekend cost? Uh, if you get out there and you spend the whole time screwing around with a starter, uh, the 475 bucks to have one that uh, you know is going to work and is backed up uh, can be worth a lot more than the, what you save on a cheap one. Uh, it's really how we operate, attention to detail everywhere we can to produce these fantastic engines. <laughs> 